Um, yes. Okay. Oh, look, you can see part of me. That's fine. Hey guys, so um, I'm gonna show you my nightly routine with all of my products. Can you see them? I have one, two, three, four, five of them. Five of them. There's a lot of products. Six of them, because I do brush my teeth. That's good to know. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna do my nightly routine. What is it called when you say, excuse me, but like this is happening? Disclaimer! Disclaimer! I haven't slept in a day ish. Wait, no, wait, hours. when did I when did I wake up? I woke up at 11.59 on Friday. Hi! Yes? That's so long! Friday. That's over two days. I woke up at 11.59 on Friday. It is now not that time. 9.25 It's now 9.25 on Sunday. I have not slept. I've had coffee. I uh, played The Sims. I watched a lot of YouTube. So like I rested, but I didn't sleep. Do you want a plain black t-shirt? Yes, always. I want it. I only bought it for the cosplay. I want it. I don't want it right now. I'm gonna just like put it on the stuff. floor. I just wanted to show like what it looks like. It's a plain black t-shirt. So I haven't slept in a while and so I am off of it. Also, I filmed a video today, it was a Nipsey video, and I took some of my makeup off, but like it's underneath my eyes now, and I don't know how that happened because I did take my makeup off. But I'm gonna do my, my nightly routine with all of my stuff that's here, all of it. It's all here. I only have five things. I know I should have ten things. Actually, I should have seven things because you don't exfoliate and do face masks every day. I'm no. missing, I'm missing like essence and eye cream. I think from like the full 10 step. I do, I, I, so Adrian lets me use his exfoliator sometimes. And I do have face masks because I have them. I have two of them right now. I get them a lot. I'm gonna do night routine, doing it. I'm doing it now. First thing I do, I take off my ring because water gets underneath it and gets weird. Second thing I do is I take off my Fitbit, which is a new thing that I've added to the list because my Fitbit is not supposed to get wet. And it goes behind Marley's cleaning stuff. Because goes behind my cleaning stuff. Yeah, Marley has a mug that does the cleaning. Oh, right. And it goes behind there I because I... I actually cleaned my piercing in like two months, but the mom's been there. That's gross. But um, I actually, I don't know if that's gross. I don't have a piercing to compare it to. But it's it goes back there because not it's not going to get wet back there. I have uh, breastfeeding nipple pads. <laughs> I use them because I can't touch cotton ever at all not at all and so these are wool and they're not cotton they're more eco-friendly i got them off of etsy i don't remember the shop i probably won't remember the shop and then i take my light cleansing oil rice water bright it's korean from the face shop i got it off of amazon i take a pump of that i put it on the soft part of my nipple pad that helps with breastfeeding leakage and I take a pump of that and I go like this and I hold it over my eye for a little bit for all the oil to soak up into the um, waterproof mascara so that the waterproof mascara will no longer be waterproof because it's waterproof, not oilproof. I just do that a little bit. You don't rub, you don't do circles. You sort of like gently pat and it'll come off. It comes off a lot. And then I go underneath and I like rub it against my eyelashes but like not against my skin because if you rub against the skin, then it's bad for your skin and you don't want to do that because your skin is the only skin that you got skin for skin and then what you want to do after you think you've taken off most of it but like you know you're gonna have extra weeks later from because mascara is a bitch sometimes you're gonna rinse that off of one eye because you can't open the eye when there's oil on the eye rinse 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 this is a clean towel i haven't spat on it yet i'm gonna use it you dab it, you don't wipe it, dab, dab, dab. Look, all of the mascara is basically gone. Oh, I forgot to put my hair up. What I'm gonna do, what I should have done before the first eye was put my hair up. I've got a clip, I've got hair. You do the twisty twist and then you clip it up so that it doesn't get wet. There you go, boom, done, magic. Then I'm gonna take another small squirt, it's like a half squirt, and I'm gonna do my other eye, half squirt, other eye, you let it soak, you let it soak. If you don't have eye makeup on, then you can skip this step, but like most people wear eye makeup, except some people who don't, and it's okay if you don't, because you don't have to do be pretty, you can be pretty just being by yourself, but you can also wear makeup and be pretty, because like everybody's pretty, but like do what you wanna do with your life, it should be soaked now. Look at all of the black that comes off, black like my soul, rub, 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 not your eye, just your eyelash, don't open 
open your eye, it burns, trust me, it burns. Don't open your eye with oil on your eye. It's bad time, it's bad time. Gentle, gentle, gentle. All of the black is coming off. I had blue eyeliner on today. I don't know why it was a choice that I made that I don't regret, but like also I kind of regret because it's blue. And who wears blue eyeliner? Old ladies in sixth grade me. Not sixth grade me, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in sixth grade. I got in trouble for like a toned lip gloss in sixth grade because it was slightly glittery and my mom was like, no. And then I decided to wear stage makeup to school and I thought my mom wouldn't notice because I was so good at putting it on for the makeup stage part and she noticed, but she didn't say anything and I think it's because I look like not good and she didn't want to embarrass me. And then freshman year, I got a palette from like one of those places that you go back to school shopping for clothes and it was in the sales bin and it had like blues and greens and purples on it for eyeshadow colors and I thought it was the coolest thing and I had blue and I didn't put it on my eyelid, I put it underneath my eye because I thought that's how eyeliner works. And so that's what my makeup look was like for all of freshman year of high school. Do you have to pee, Marley? No, I'm Good. just putting my washcloth in. Then you put another squirt of the oil stuff. I probably used too much of the oil stuff, but like I had to take makeup off. And this is when you have to like cleanse and you go in small circles along your face and you don't rub and you don't pull. It's just small little circles. It's not going to do anything. It's just putting oil on your face, which like some people are like, ew, that's bad for you. Don't do that. You're going to break out even more. Actually, you are. It's good because it takes the stuff that water doesn't take off because oil repels water So all of the oil on your skin is now gonna be gone because of the oil cleanser and look it's really gross on this This is what was on my face yuck And so then I put that in where the dirty pads go boom done Then you take a little bit of water on your hand and you gently gently rub in circles You're not actually rubbing your skin. You're just lightly going over it It should feel milky with the oil because that means it's doing the cleaning do, do, do. Gently, you shouldn't pull your skin. Don't pull your skin. Don't pull your skin at all. Just a little bit of just you're working it into the skin, sort of. Not pulling. We're not pulling. Pulling makes wrinkles. We don't want wrinkles. Wrinkles are bad. They show aging. My skin feels very dry today. Okay. Now we're going to use lukewarm water, which means it can't be in the middle because then it's freezing and it can't be way over here because then it's boiling so it's like slightly in the middle and you're going to rinse it off gently. For risk of sounding like a total fangirl, you're going to do it soft and neat. Tap it dry. Don't rub it dry. Tap it dry. Tap. Tapping is your best friend in this scenario. You tap. I've still got stuff underneath my eye. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Why are you still on my eye? How have you survived this long on my eye? There you go. Oh, pulling at the skin. Just tapping. There we go. Look, and my face is clean. I don't know if you can see that. Next. Oh, I am wearing a long sleeve shirt, so roll up your sleeves. Next. Oh, my sleeves are wet. Now my elbows are wet. That's a weird sensation. Next. Rice water. Right. The, the water-based cleanser that goes on after the oil-based cleanser to cleanse your face of other things. And you put a little bit, like that much, on a finger. I don't put it on my pointer finger because my pointer finger is messed up. And you just put a tiny bit on and then you put this back in the cabinet because you don't need it right now and so it's gonna be in the way if you don't have it so you put it back in the cabinet and look you add a little bit of water to that you rub it in between your hands not too much because you don't lose any and you gently massage it into your skin it's not gonna foam it's just gonna do the lather thing like you're shaving, but you're shaving your entire face off and all of the dead skin that's in it. Oh, I just got soap in my eye, that's fun. And you do it gently and smoothly and you don't tug or pull, smooth and gentle, soft and neat, soft and neat. And you just do that until you feel clean. Be gentle underneath your eyes. Make sure you get the temples because I always forget the temples. Also, your glabella is important because your glasses sit there and so you break out there. Also, you break out on your cheeks, so make sure you gently massage it into your cheeks and like this part in between your nose and your face this is like the important part that everybody seems to forget I don't know why and then you're done and you take your water and you go whoosh again whoosh gentle soft the knee and you tap it dry your face should feel very smooth and clean right now. If it's burning, get a different moisturizer. Try something that is nicer, that doesn't have the burning stuff in it. It shouldn't burn, it should feel good. It should feel clean, it should feel nice. You're gonna take another one of these cotton pads. See, this is why you need to get not real cotton pads. My eye stains because I got soap in it. You gotta get not real cotton pads because you use a lot of them and cotton is not the most green of 
crops. And you take, I have witch hazel aloe vera formula, alcohol free toner, rose petal scented. You're gonna take a toner and you're gonna put it on your pad, do 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 do, and it smells like roses and you're gonna put that all over your face. Soft and neat. Don't tug at the skin. Put it, just like gently tap it onto the skin. You're gonna smell like roses, plus the rice water. Don't be worried if there's black on the pad. That's all the dead skin and extra fibers from your lap towel that got on your face coming off. It's fine. It's gross looking, but it's fine. Boom, look, there, done. Ah, gross. Ugh. Put that back in there. Now you have to make sure your face is completely dry. Whoosh. But don't wait too long. If you wait too long, the serum won't work. Okay, so now you have the serum. I have the vitamin C facial serum. And you put a tiny bit. I don't know actually how you do this. I put a tiny bit on my temple and my temple and my cheekbone and my cheekbone and my forehead and my chin. And by a tiny bit, I mean the little bit that's on the outside of the dropper. Then you gently just like, there's literally barely anything on my face. And you gently just like put it on your face. You do it gentle like. I put it here because it's supposed to be brightening and it's supposed to get rid of acne scars. And that's where I get most of my acne. I have Marion Hill down and also, um, can you feel it by Super Junior stuck in my head? If you know either of those songs, you get bonus points. When the serum is completely absorbed into your face and you haven't rubbed it in, it's just been absorbed nicely. You add, this is where you would add like, if you had a, an essence or something else that's not serum and it starts with an A and it's French, you would add this here. Um, you would also add your eye cream here. I don't have these things. I'm just gonna put lotion on. And this is the Clinique lotion that I always use and rave about. And I put a single pump on my middle finger again. I rub it in between my hands, avoiding my index finger on my left hand because it's messed up from knitting. And then you tap it all over your face. Make sure you get the cheeks and the chin and wherever it's normally very dry because this is lotion moisturizing. I used to use a heavier moisturizer for night but um, my skin didn't like it and so I'm gonna have to find another solution to that problem and right now I'm just gonna use my lighter one and tap it on your face. Lightly tap it on your face. Tap, 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 tap. Soft and neat, soft and neat. I'm tired of that. This whole thing has helped so much with my acne, which is normally very painful and is still existent. Cause like, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of it, but like also it's not nearly as painful as it used to be, so. And that is the face done. Next, you wash your hands. Next, you brush your teeth. I get my toothbrush wet before I do it. I don't know, like those heathens that don't do that. Like, why don't you do that? It feels better when it's wet. Sex joke. Put toothpaste on your toothbrush. You should know how to brush your teeth. You stick it in your mouth. Oh. Then I put on chapstick because my lips get very dry. And so I take a little bit on my finger and I should probably use a Q-tip, but I have a thing with cotton and it doesn't work with me. Put a little bit on your finger, dab it on your lips. Then you put your Fitbit back on because you're not gonna deal with water anymore. Mine's gray. It used to be pink. Actually, it was black and then it was brown and no, black and then blue and then brown and then pink and now it's gray because I have lots of different bands because my mom got me lots of different bands for my birthday. Which thank you, mom. I appreciate it. Then you're gonna put your ring on because you're it's not gonna get icky under there anymore. Then you're gonna be very careful that. You didn't moisturize your index finger because that's gonna hurt when you start knitting again. Then you gently fold up your towel and you hang it over the side and you be courteous to your roommates. And then, why is my straightener on the counter? I haven't used that in years, days, months, weeks. Throw away this piece of garbage that you found. Close the cabinet shelf. Pick up your hat. Oh, that's not a hat, that's a sheet. You're done now. It's time to go to bed. Go to bed now. Oh wait, never mind. Take this down. You don't need this right now. Look, you can put it back into the cabinet and it's fine. Because you don't sleep with your hair up because it's bad for you, I think. I'm tired. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!